Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to learn all about the letter P in English. Okay, the letter P is the sixteenth letter in English, and it is a consonant letter again. But how do we pronounce this letter? And what is the difference between P and B? Okay, if you want to practice some really cool tongue twisters and make sure your pronunciation of P is perfect. Stick around for this cool lesson, okay? Okay, so in the letter P, you can hear the sound p, p, p. This is how we pronounce this letter in words in English. P, p, p. It is an Unvoiced sound. That means that we don't use our vocal cords. We just use the air coming out of our mouths. Okay. P, p, p. You'll see that my lips come together, and then we build pressure and p, explode out. P, p, p. What's the difference between this sound and the b? It's that voiced. Sound okay. The letter B is b, b with that voiced vibration of the vocal cords, b. But the letter P, we don't use the voice box here. We don't use our vocal cords, so we just say. P, p, p. It's very important that you get that air p, out of your mouth. If you practice this, you can look a little bit crazy going. P, 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 p. Okay, but. Okay, let's practice some words with this p sound at the beginning, like put, put, or part, 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 or pause, 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 or place, place, place. Be careful when you have letters like p and l together. Because it's so fast in English, it's not p lace. It's pl. Them two together. Place, place. Not place, place, but place, place, place. Okay. So try again. Put, put, part, part, pause, pause, and place, place. Try this sentence. I pressed pause and put the part in place. I pressed pause and put the part in place. I pressed pause and put the part in place. I pressed pause and put the part in place. Lots of. When you're saying words with lots of, you should run out of breath. I pressed pause and put the part in place, and there's no air left to come out. I pressed pause and put the part in place. It's quite tiring. I pressed pause and put the part in place. Now let's look at some words with the p at the end, like help, stop, shop, and hope. Help, stop, shop, and hope. Now there are actually two ways that we can do this or pronounce this in English. In the word hope, we can pronounce it with a very strong. At the end, hope, hope, or some English speakers, very advanced English speakers, like to use a glottal stop here. So instead of saying hope, they go hope, hope. I hope it is good. The glottal stop means that you try to make the sound, but you close your throat here. You close your glottis. That means you go hope, and you can't make the sound. That is a glottal stop. Hope, hope. It is not the same as just missing the sound. It is not the same as not pronouncing the sound. Okay, listen for the difference. If I just say ho, 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 that is without the letter p. Ho, ho. If I say it with a strong p, it is hope. Hope. 
But if I use a glottal stop, it's ho, ho, okay? Ho, hope, ho, ho, hope, ho. Listen again. Ho, no sound, no P at all. Hope, with that strong P, and then with a glottal P here, hope, hope. Okay, we're stopping that P sound coming out. Hope. Okay, so help, stop, shop, and hope could also be help, stop, shop, and hope. Some words even have the letter P at the beginning and elsewhere in the word, like people, people, or puppy, puppy. Here, there are two P's together, which is the same as one P. Two P's is P again, okay? People, puppy, or pop, pop, or pope, pope. People, puppy, pop, and pope. Practice them together. People, puppy, pop, and pope. People, puppy, pop, and pope. And make sure you have that p, p, p all the way. People, puppy, pop, and pope. People, puppy, pop, and pope. Okay? Now, there's a really awesome tongue twister in English that most English teachers know when they want to teach the p, p sound in English. It is Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. <sighs> and you're very out of breath after this. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. How fast can you learn to say this? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Practice that until your p pronunciation is perfect, okay? Now, P can sometimes change its sound when it comes with other letters. For example, when you see P and H together, like in the word phone or phonics. In phone and phonics, PH together is not pronounced with a P. It's pronounced F, F with that F sound, okay? F, so f, f, phone and phonics. Also in the word physics, okay? Practice with me. Phone, phone, phonics, phonics, and physics, physics, okay? So remember, PH together is often pronounced f, f, okay? You can also see P and S sometimes come together, and this usually means that the P is silent completely, like in psychology or psychic. Psychology or psychic. Both have P S Y. Psychology. We don't say psychology, it's psychology. So here it's a silent, okay? Silent P. Psychology. This is the same in some less common words where you see P and T together, like in Ptolemy or pterodactyl, okay? The dinosaur, pterodactyl. Here, when you see P and T together, normally, again, the P is silent. So, Ptolemy or pterodactyl. Ptolemy and pterodactyl. So, P and S, normally, P is silent. P and T, normally, P is silent. Okay, let's look at three really cool P words that help you remember some of these strange pronunciations of the letter P. The first one is photojournalist. Here, the PH together, you remember, is pronounced f photojournalist. A journalist who takes photos. A photojournalist. Photojournalist. Another word with similar pronunciation is pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. A pharmaceutical company. Okay? Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. And finally, we have the word professionalism. Professionalism. This means being or acting professional. Very professional. Professionalism. Pr. Here you have that p and the r together. Just like before, we had the p and the l 
together in place, okay? We have p and r together. Professionalism. Pr, 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 professionalism. Okay, so before we finish, let's have a look at some tongue twisters and do a little test. Check out this amazing tongue twister, which has all of the ways to pronounce the letter P in it, okay? Pepper Potts and Peter Parker participated in plenty of physical put-downs. Pepper Potts and Peter Parker participated in plenty of physical put-downs. Pepper Potts and Peter Parker participated in plenty of physical put-downs, okay? Try that as many times as you need to until, again, your p p p and your f is perfect, okay? P perfect. Okay, for a little test, I want you to answer this question. Which sound does PH make in English? A, B, C, or D? If you have watched all of this lesson, this will be a really easy question to answer. So write your answer in the comments below, okay? Okay, so thank you very much again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and got to practice lots of cool p sounds and f sounds and tongue twisters like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more of my videos and really improve your English pronunciation in the future. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next lesson. Bye bye.